Belgrade Fortress Serbian, Biogradska Tvrdava, Biogradska Tvrdava, consists of the Old Citadel upper and, lower town and Kalamegdan Park large and little Kalamegdan on the confluence of the River Sava and Danube, in an urban area of modern Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. It is located in Belgrade's municipality of Stari Grad. Belgrade Fortress was declared a Monument of Culture of Exceptional Importance in 1979, and is protected by the Republic of Serbia. It is the most visited tourist attraction in Belgrade, with Skaterlija being the second. Since the admission is free, it is estimated that the total number of visitors foreign, domestic, citizens of Belgrade is over 2 million yearly. <laughs> Location Topic. Belgrade Fortress is located on top of the 125.5 meter high ending ridge of the Sumatija geological bar. The cliff-like ridge overlooks the Great War Island Serbian, Veliko Ratno Ostrovo and the confluence of the Sava River into the Danube, and makes one of the most beautiful natural lookouts in Belgrade. It borders the neighborhoods of Dorkal north and northeast, Stari Grad east, and Kasankachev Vanak Savimala, south. It is encircled by three streets, Boulevard of Vavita Bajevic, Tadiusa Kosciuska, Pariska, and the railway along the riverside. History Classical antiquity Belgrade Fortress is the core and the oldest section of the urban area of Belgrade. For centuries the city population was concentrated only within the walls of the fortress, and thus the history of the fortress, until most recent times, equals the history of Belgrade itself see, timeline of Belgrade history. The first mention of the city is when it was founded in the 3rd century BC as Singadunum by the Celtic tribe of Scordici, who had defeated Thracian and Dacian tribes that previously lived in and around the fort. The city fortress was later conquered by the Romans, was known as Singadunum and became a part of the military frontier, where the Roman Empire bordered barbarian Central Europe. Singadunum was defended by the Roman legion IV Flaviae, which built a fortified camp on a hill at the confluence of the Danube and the Sava rivers. In the period between AD 378 and 441 the Roman camp was repeatedly destroyed in the invasions by the Goths and the Huns. Legend says that Attila's grave lies at the confluence of the Sava and the Danube under the fortress. In 476 Belgrade again became the borderline between the empires, the Western Roman Empire and Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire and the Slav Avar state in the north. The Celtic fortification was a primitive one, located on top of Terezij Ridge, above the confluence of the Sava into the Danube, where the fortress still stands today. Celts also lived in small, open and fortified settlements around the fort, called epitomes. Since it is not known for sure where the Celtic fort was, some historians suggest that it was rather close to the necropolises in Karaburma and Raspi Kupriya. Celtic settlements belonged to the Latine culture. The original military camp was probably occupied by the soldiers from the Legio 8 Augusta from 46 AD to 69 AD. Early Singadunum reached its height with the arrival of Legio IV Flavia Felix which was transferred to the city in 86 AD and remained there until the mid-5th century. The presence of Legio IV prompted the construction of a square-shaped castrum fort, which occupied upper town of today's fortress. Construction began at the turn of the two-stone century AD as since the early 100s, Legio IV Flavia Felix became permanently stationed in Singadunum. At first, the fortress was set up as earthen bulwarks and wooden palisades, but soon after, it was fortified with stone as the first stone fort in Belgrade's history. The remains can be seen today near the northeastern corner of the Acropolis. The legion also constructed a pontoon bridge over the Sava, connecting Singadunum with Torunum. Rectangular castrum covered what is today the upper town and the Kalamegdan Park. The castrum had tall walls, built from the white Tasmitan limestone and spread over the area of 16 hectares 40 acres to 20 hectares 49 acres, being shaped as an irregular rectangle approximately 570 by 330 meters 1870 by 1080 feet. <laughs> Middle Ages the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I rebuilt the fortress around 535. 
In the following centuries the fortress suffered continuous destruction under the Avar sieges. The Slavs Serbs and Avars had their state union north of Belgrade with the Serbs and other Slavic tribes finally settling in the Belgrade area as well as the regions west and south of Belgrade in the beginning of the 7th century. The name Belgrade or Biograd in Serbian, which, not just in Serbian but in most Slavic languages, means a white town or a white fortress, was first mentioned in AD 878 by Bulgarians. The fortress kept changing its masters, Bulgaria during three centuries, and then the Byzantines and then again Bulgarians. The fortress remained a Byzantine stronghold until the 12th century when it fell in the hands of the newly emerging Serbian state. It became a border city of the Serbian kingdom, later empire with Hungary. The Hungarian king Bela I gave the fortress to Serbia in the 11th century as a wedding gift his son married the Serbian princess Jelena, but it remained effectively part of Hungary, except for the period 1282-1319. After the Serbian state collapsed after the Battle of Kosovo, in 1402 Belgrade was chosen as the capital of despot Stefan Lazarevic. Major work was done to the ramparts which were encircling a big thriving town. The lower town at the banks of the Danube was the main urban center with a new built Orthodox cathedral. The upper town with its castle was defending the city from inland. Belgrade remained in Serbian hands for almost a century. After the despot's death in 1427 it had to be returned to Hungary. An attempt by Sultan Mehmed II to conquer the fortress was prevented by Janos Hunyadi in 1456 siege of Belgrade, saving Hungary from Ottoman dominion for 70 years. Early modern In 1521, 132 years after the Battle of Kosovo, the fortress, like most parts of the Serbian state, was conquered by the Turks and remained with short periods of the Austrian and Serbian occupation, under the rule of the Ottoman Empire until the year 1867, when the Turks withdrew from Belgrade and Serbia. During the short period of Austrian rule 1718 the fortress was largely rebuilt and modernized. It witnessed the Great Serbian Migration in the 17th century and two Serbian uprisings in the 19th century, during the Turkish period. During the Austrian occupation of northern Serbia 1717-39, several hospitals were established in Belgrade. The city hospital of St. John was built within the fortress walls, but its exact location is not known. Emperor Charles VI signed the Belgrade City Statute in 1724, Proclamation on Organizing German Belgrade, which mentions city hospital, city pharmacy, medics and midwives. The German municipality had low incomes so it had to ask the state for help and beneficence. The hospital is mentioned in the 1728 census. It was a hospital already in 1719, later becoming the residence of Thomas Berger, the head of the hospital. After his death, his daughter continued to reside in the building. The hospital Statspital was moved to another location, into the newly constructed building in 1724. A small church was built next to it. This new hospital was quite small, with only two rooms, a kitchen and a basement, so it may not be the same city hospital, Lazaret or a quarantine hospital is not mentioned in the documents, but it is safe to presume that it had to be formed during the viral outbreaks, as was usual in the time. The procedure in case of outbreaks was probably analog to the existing procedure in Buda, the capital of Hungary. Today unidentified disease ravaged Belgrade in 1730. Viral epidemic killed a lot of people. During the course of only two weeks, just the Jesuits buried 220 people and themselves lost three missionaries. The extremely massive plague outbreak hit the city in October 1738. As Austrian army retreated in front of the advancing Turks, numerous civilians fled to the fortress, many of them being contagious. Having so many people in a cramped space, the triage was not possible so the plague spread quickly. There are reports of the dead lying in the streets for days as there was no one to bury them. Austrian garrison was decimated and the corpses of the soldiers who died of plague were burned with their personal properties. After Austria lost the Austro Turkish War of 1737 1739, the northern Serbia, including Belgrade, was returned to the Turks. One of the provisions of the 1739 Treaty of Belgrade stated that Austria had to demolish all the fortifications and military and civilian building it has constructed during the occupation. Many Baroque buildings were demolished within the fortress. 
However, Austria didn't demolish the buildings outside of the fortress walls. That way, the house at 10 Cara Dusana Street, built from 1724 to 1727, in the neighborhood of Dorkal survived, being today the oldest house in Belgrade. Modern While it was inhabited, the fortress formed one of the quarters in the administrative division of Belgrade. It was called Grad, and translated in the foreign languages as Fortress. According to the censuses, it had a population of 2,219 in 1890, 2,281 in 1895, 2,777 in 1900, 2,396 in 1905, and 454 in 1910. Kalamegdan was the location of the second airport in Serbia, after one in the neighborhood of Banjica from 1910. A field in the Donji Grad was adapted for planes in January 1911. It was situated along the bank of the Sava River, from the old Turkish bath modern planetarium to the mouth of the Sava into the Danube. One of the flight pioneers, Edvard Rusjan, died in an airplane crash after taking off from this field on 9 January 1911. Today, the area is used by the parachutists and paragliders and is the location of the air shows for sports and ultralight aviation. In 1928, building company, Sumadaja proposed the construction of the cable car, which they called Air Tram. The project was planned to connect Zemin to Belgrade Fortress, via Great War Island. The interval of the cabins was set at two minutes and the entire route was supposed to last five minutes. The project was never realized, but the idea of the cable car was revived in the 21st century. The fortress suffered further damage during the First and the Second World Wars. After almost two millennia of continuous sieges, battles and conquests, the fortress is today known as the Belgrade Fortress. The present name of Kalamegdan Park derives from two Turkish words, Kale fortress and Maiden battlefield, literally, Battlefield Fortress. After World War II, before skiing facilities were built on the mountains further from Belgrade, the slopes of Kalamegdan so as of Banovo Brdo, Kosithjak and Avala, were used by Belgraders for skiing. Topic. Archaeology Topic. On 29 February 1952 City adopted the "...decision on protection, adaptation and maintenance of the People's Park of Kalamegdan," which set the borders of the protected areas as the rivers of Danube and Sava and the streets of Tadeusa Kaskaskog and Pariska. In 1962, Belgrade S Institute for the Cultural Monuments Protection expanded the zone to several blocks across the streets. Detailed plan on Kalamegdan from 1965 provided that, despite the immense archaeological value that lies beneath the fortress ground, basically only what was discovered by that time can be explored, restored or protected. That caused the problem both for the expansion of the park but even more for the further exploration of the fortress. Underground. Best example is the lower town where neither the park fully developed nor the remains of the former port, which was located there, are visible. The area of the fortress is 66 hectares 160 acres. By 2000, only 5% of that area was archaeologically surveyed, and by 2010 that number rose to 12% or 8 hectares 20 acres. Based on the findings so far, it is estimated that during the rule of despot Stefan Lazarević in the first half of the 15th century, when Belgrade became capital of Serbia, the city within the fortress had 5,600 to 12,000 inhabitants. Archaeological examinations were done on the next locations. Gornji Grad in the inner fortress, surveyed 1948-2009, found remains belong to the prehistory, antiquity, Middle Ages and Turkish-Austrian period. Waterfront Rampart in Donji Grad, 1963-2010, Middle Ages and Turkish-Austrian period Kalamegdan Park, 1973-2010, Antiquity, Middle Ages and Turkish-Austrian period Belgrade Zoo, 1988, Antiquity, Middle Ages and Turkish-Austrian period. The explored sections after 2000 include the access downhill path to the small staircase in Kalamegdan Park, the bastion on the Sava slope, the gates of King, Sava, Dark and Karadard, the Great Ravelin, etc. During the 2017 reconstruction of the Mehmed Pasa Sokolovic's fountain, next to the Defterdur. 
S gate in the Gornji Grad, several archaeological discoveries were made. Remnants of the Roman castrum, two urns from the Bronze Age and remains of the Neolithic object were discovered. The findings were conserved and reburied. Features Belgrade Fortress is generally divided into four sections. The four sections, two of which make the fortress itself Donji and, Gornji Grad, and two make a Kalmegdan Park today, were divided by the Sarograd Road, on the location of modern pedestrian path next to the Sibiheta Zuzoric Art Pavilion. <laughs> Lower Town Donji Grad, Doni Grad occupies the slope towards the riversides, from the top spot ridge where the victor is. Between the lowest section and the Danube is Kula Nabajsa, impregnable, fearless, or daredevil tower, which has been turned into a museum of the Greek revolutionary Rigas Ferraios, who was strangled by the Turks in this tower and his corpse thrown into the Danube. Donji Grad, like the neighboring Savamala, frequently suffers from flooding, and Kula Nabajsa suffered extensive damage during the major floods of 2006. The Orthodox churches of Ruzica former Austrian gun depot and Sveta Petka are also located in this area, as is the Belgrade Planetarium. The modern church of Sveta Petka was projected by architect Momer Koronovic. Construction began in the first half of the 1930s, on the location of an old chapel. It was consecrated on 27 October 1937, the feast day of Parasheva of the Balkans, called Petka in Serbian, during the tenure of Mayor Dragan Dillas The idea of expanding the zoo to Donji Grad, which it occupied prior to the World War II, resurfaced, but the experts were against it. The urban plan for the fortress from 1965 already projected the complete relocation of the zoo outside of the fortress, on some of the suburban locations, which in later plans included Veliko Blato, Stepan Lug or Jelezovac. The expansion of the zoo would cut the pedestrian communication between the Danube's and Sava's parts of the fortress, which was already cut in 1949 but was restored in 2009 with the reconstruction and opening of the Sava Gate. Also, it would prevent the exploration of Don G. Grad, which is still largely unexplored and leave the gate of Charles VI, a masterpiece of Balthasar Newman, within the zoo itself. As of 2017, the zoo was not relocated but the idea of expansion was dropped, too. <laughs> Upper town Gornji Grad, Gorni Grad the upper section of fortress, turned into a park, with beautiful promenades and the statue of the Victor, Serbian, Pobednik, the so-called Roman Well, Serbian, Rimski Bunner, actually built by the Austrians, the popular observatory since 1963 in the despot Stefan Tower, the Turb tomb of Damad Ali Pasha, Mehmed Pasa Sokolovic's fountain, tennis and basketball courts, etc. Bunker In 1948, after the Informbureau resolution and the ensuing Tito-Stalin split, a construction of the defensive bunker began on the fortress. In the process, the 5 meters 16 feet thick rampart of the original Nabajsa tower was discovered. It was destroyed and by 1949 the bunker which covers 200 square meters 2,200 square feet was finished. The tallest point of the bunker is the cannon dome which was used for the artillery and military units. Abandoned later, it was adapted for the tourists and opened in December 2012. It has parts of the authentic inventory from the 1950s, safety doors, beds, ventilation, water tanks, etc. <laughs> Damad Ali Pasha's Turb the Turb is located on the central plateau of the upper town and is one of the few remaining monuments of Islamic architecture in Belgrade. It was named after Damad Ali Pasha, a Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire 1713-16, during the reign of Sultan Ahmed III. The mausoleum, however, is younger. It was built in 1784 over the grave of Izzet Mehmed Pasha, another Grand Vizier and a Mahafiz, or governor, of Belgrade. The Turb was badly damaged during the first Serbian uprising, so the Ottoman governor of Serbia, Marashli Ali Pasha, reconstructed it in 1818-19 and dedicated it to Damad Ali Pasha. 
Another two Mahafis, this time administering only the fortress as Serbia gained autonomy, were buried in the Turb, Selim Siri Pasha in 1847 and Hassan Pasha in 1850. The mausoleum is made of stone, with a regular hexagonal base. The sides are 4 meters 13 feet long. It is 7 meters 23 feet tall with a diameter of 8 meters 26 feet. A thorough renovation began in May 2017 and should be finished by October. The wiring and the roof are replaced, the floor was drained and the inner and outer conservation was done. Old roof tiles were broken so the water poured inside. The roof tiles, which were not the original roof cover, were replaced with the lead cover and new, modern roof tiles. Rotten wooden floor was replaced with the brick slabs and the wooden covering of the tomb was also replaced. <laughs> Gunpowder magazine also adapted for the visits is the Great Austrian Gunpowder Magazine, built during the Austrian occupation of Belgrade 1718-39, as they destroyed the old one during the 1717 siege of Belgrade. They directly hit the magazine with the cannonball and the explosion which followed allowed the Austrians to capture the city. The magazine is today embellished with the artifacts from the Roman period which were discovered in or around the fortress, tombstone stelae, monuments, altars and the sarcophagus of Jonah, which originates from the 3rd century AD. It was arranged and opened for visitors in 2014. <laughs> Roman well The present facility, called the Roman well, is neither Roman nor a water well. It is located along the southwest rampart of the Gornji Grad, in the vicinity of the Pobednik Monument and the King's Gate. An underground object existed during the medieval period and is referenced by Constantine of Kostanes during the rule of despot Stefan Lazarevich, in the first half of the 15th century. It apparently was a dungeon as it was mentioned during the 1456 siege of Belgrade when 30 Hungarian conspirators died in it after their scheme to let the Turks into the fortress and surrender the city to them was thwarted. They were to be paid by the Turks, but were discovered and dropped into the pit with ropes. They were left there without food and after they began losing their minds from hunger, they were thrown knives to kill each other. Turkish traveller Evliya Celebi in 1660 wrote about the object as the grain silo. After Austrians occupied the northern Serbia in 1717, it was obvious that there is a problem of providing water for the city within the fortress. Main sources were two large rivers, Danube and Sava, but as Belgrade was quite often under siege or a battleground, it wasn't practical as the rivers would become unreachable during the sieges, so they searched for an alternative. Within the scopes of a massive construction and reconstruction of Belgrade in the Baroque manner, from 1717 to 1731 a present facility was dug and a complex wooden mechanism was installed to lift the water up from the pit of 50 metres 160 feet. It was designed by Balthasar Newman. Austrians originally intended to dig a proper water well. They descended to 54 metres 177 feet, which is below the water level in the Sava, but found no water and actually hit the impervious rock layer. Then they decided to adapt it into the cistern and to conduct all surface water into it. The mechanism was manually operated, worked on the lever principle and had 12 segments, or pistons, which all worked at the same time when operated. Water was then climbing, being poured from one vessel into another. Being made of wood, it got rotten and completely disappeared in time, but sometimes it is mentioned as the beginning of the industrial period in Belgrade. The copy of the schematics is still being kept in the library of the Matica Srpska in Novi Sad. Newman also constructed a double spiral staircase which descends 35 meters 115 feet down the shaft and based it on the staircase in the St. Peter Well in Orvieto, Italy. The diameter of the shaft is 3.4 meters 11 feet. The staircase has 212 steps and there is a small corridor at the bottom which connects two sections of the staircase, but it is usually flooded. On Austrian maps, it is named the Great Well, but when Serbian rebels liberated Belgrade from the Ottomans in the early 19th century they gradually named it the Roman Well as the common belief at the time was that all old buildings were Roman. In 1940 the Yugoslav Royal Army emptied the well, measured it and cleaned it. Because of that, during the World War II an urban myth spread through Belgrade claiming that the gold from the National Bank of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia was hidden in the well. German occupation forces sent three divers to check the bottom of the well, but all three disappeared. 
Some of the Yugoslav soldiers apparently carved a number, 1940, near the bottom of the well. In 1954, a man threw his mistress into the well. Police wanted to prove that he killed her, so the divers were dispatched to find the body, but they failed. Still, her body resurfaced ten days later. This story served as an inspiration for Dusan Makovejev when he wrote and directed the movie Love Affair, or The Case of the Missing Switchboard Operator in 1967. In 1964 Alfred Hitchcock visited the well and praised the ambience. In 1967-68, new exploration of the object was conducted. The divers discovered that the bottom is full of sludge and retrieved a number of skeletons, several animal ones and two human. In 1987 the divers explored whether there is a connected between the well and the Sava, but found no tunnel. The bottom was flat, there was one park bench in the water and a huge number of coins. The Roman well served as an inspiration for another movie Levirant, which was nominated by Serbia for an Oscar in 2002. During the 2006 dive, a miniature, 5 mm long amphipoda, previously undiscovered in Serbia, was found. It was closed in 2007, reconstructed and reopened in March 2014, but as of 2017 the upper section is open for visitors while the descent is forbidden due to the safety reasons. The divers explored it again in November 2017. The bottom wasn't flat anymore as the bench and coins were covered with a thick layer of some 15 cubic meters, 530 cu feet of construction waste, iron bars, reflector light, wired trash bins, etc. It all made the well 1.5 meters 4 feet 11 in shallower. Cans, plastic bottles and lids were floating on the water, while a pile of new coins formed. The divers suggested that the well should be cleaned at least once a year. Still, the water was unusually clear, and with artificial reflector light it was transparent all the way to the bottom, or 14 meters 46 feet. It had a temperature of 12 degrees Celsius 54 degrees Fahrenheit. After 300 years, the speleothems began to form near the bottom of the well. Existence of another water well, sort of a twin of the Roman well, is not widely known today. This well, built on the same principle and being about the same depth, is located away from the fortress, below the modern monument to Vuk Karadžić in the Vukov Spomenik neighborhood. Topic: <laughs> Great Kalamegdan Park. Topic. Veliki Kalamegadanski Park Veliki Kalamegadanski Park occupies the southern corner of fortress, with geometrical promenades, the military museum, the Museum of Forestry and Hunting, and the Monument of Gratitude to France. At the location of the Monument of Gratitude to France there was a monument to Caradurd which was dedicated on 21 August 1913, a work of Pasco Vucetic. There was a relief with various figures on the sides of the pedestal and Caradurd. S. grandson, King Peter I of Serbia attended the dedication. During the Austro-Hungarian occupation of Belgrade in World War I, the Austrians planned to erect the bronze monument to their emperor, Franz Joseph I on that very spot so they melted the Caradurd's monument to reuse the bronze. When the Franz Joseph monument was being shipped to Belgrade in 1918, Serbian forces captured the ship and confiscated the statue. It was later melted into three church bells, largest of which still tolls from the bell tower of the Ruzica church today. <inaudible> Gondola lift In August 2017 the construction of the gondola lift, which would connect Kalamegdan with Yush was announced by the city government for 2018. Construction was confirmed in March 2018 when the idea of a pedestrian bridge was dropped after it has been described as complicated and unstable. On the Kalamegdan side, the station will be dug into the hill, 1 meter 3 feet 3 in below the fortress Sava promenade. There is a cave 7 meters 23 feet below the projected station, so there is a possibility that the cave will be adapted for visitations and connected to the future gondola station by an elevator. On the UE side, the starting point will be next to the skate park, across the Yush Tower. The entire route is 1 km miles long, of which 300 meters feet will be above the Sava River itself. Estimated cost is 10 million euros and duration of works 18 months, but it is still not known when the construction will begin. 
Already existing criticism of the project continued, from the officially used name, gondola instead of a traditional Serbian zakara and chosen location, to the route, especially the Kalamegdan station which is a collapsible locality above the cave, in the area already prone to mass wasting. Park of the non-aligned countries in the neighborhood of Kasankachev Vanak was proposed as the better solution. Topic. Pavilion on Sava Promenade Topic. A pavilion, with an area of 77 meters 253 feet was built in the 1920s along the Sava Promenade on the southern edge of the fortress. In the 1990s several families squatted in it. By the 2010s, the object was out of use, derelict and half-ruined. Lease of the object was announced in May 2014, but was recalled. It was repeated in July 2016. On 13 September 2017, without any announcements, the object was demolished. An info table was placed later, saying that the works on the reconstruction began on 15 September, two days after the object was completely razed to the ground. After public and media protests, the city-owned communal company which administers the fortress, Biogradska Tverdava, announced that the terrain is being prepared for the new object, which will have an artistic and cultural, but also a catering function. However, while the Biogradska Tverdava obtained a permit from the Ministry of Construction, only works which will not affect the construction of the object were allowed, not a demolition. Also, at first they refused to disclose which company is the leaseholder, claiming that the investor pays for everything, though the info board named Biogradska Tverdava as an investor. As the entire Kalamegdan area is protected by the law, the State Institute for the Monuments Protection also had to approve any works. They issued a permit, naming which parts of the object have to be preserved and which may be demolished but, nevertheless, the entire house was demolished. Biogradska Tverdava claimed that everything has been done transparent and by the book biddings, planned investments, etc. but nothing could be found in the official records. Since then, the leaseholders became known, two companies, SIG and Black Rock which are already in the catering business, and which admitted that they planned to build a coffee shop, not to recreate an artistic of cultural pavilion. City sued all three participants, Biogradska Tverdava, Sig, and Black Rock, and on 27 November 2017 the court declared their lease contract void. Only now became known that the contract was signed already on 5 August 2016, while Sig and Black Rock formed their consortium just one day before. Also, the works were to be finished by the mid-December 2017, after three months. Construction inspections visited the site several times and finally ordered the closing of the site and returned to the previous state. On their side, State Institute for the Monuments Protection also banned any further construction. After the demolition, the holes were dug in the ground, presumably for the new foundations, but in February 2018 the construction yard was abandoned and the dugout holes remained. Public reactions were negative as from the start it was suspected that a restaurant or a coffee shop will be built. Further controversies, apart from the hidden information and almost absolute ignorance of the reporters and public inquirers and refusal of the information disclosing by the Biogradska Tverdava were sparked when the bidding paperwork became public in the meantime. Only companies already in the food service activities were allowed to participate, even though it was noted that the object is not connected either to the waterworks nor the sewage system, and that there are no requirements to be connected at all. Ministry of Construction confirmed that Ministry of Culture issued the permit for archaeological research on the location in December 2017, when the construction site was declared an archaeological dig. Archaeologists made three digs and discovered the artifacts from the antiquity and the Middle Ages. A fact that the investor didn't provide the proper archaeological survey, which he had to do since it is obligatory when it comes to Kalamegdan, was one of the reasons named for the banning the works by the Institute for the Monuments Protection. Topic. Little Kalamegdan Park Topic. Mali Kalamegadansky Park Mali Kalamegadansky Park occupies the area in the eastern section, which borders the urban section of Belgrade. The northern section of Little Kalamegdan Park is occupied by the Belgrade Zoo, opened in 1936. The Siviheta Zuzoric Art Pavilion is also located here. Topic. Overview Topic. 
Kalamegdan is the most popular park among Belgraders and for many tourists visiting Belgrade because of the park. S numerous winding walking paths, shaded benches, picturesque fountains, statues, historical architecture and scenic river views Sahat Kula, the clock tower, closed in 2007 for the reconstruction, reopened in April 2014, Zindan Kapia, Zindan Gate, etc. The former canal which was used for city supplying in the Middle Ages is completely covered by earth but the idea of recreating it resurfaced in the early 2000s. Belgrade Fortress is known for its kilometers long tunnels, underground corridors and catacombs, which are still largely unexplored. In the true sense, Fortress is today the green oasis in the Belgrade's urban area. As a combination of several habitats parkland with old trees, fortress, landscape view of rivers and forested Veliko Rotno Ostrovo, Kalamegdan may be interesting for overseas tourists birdwatchers as it provides a snapshot of local bird fauna. It is also important as the resting spot for small passerine birds on migration, before or after crossing the rivers Sava and Danube. Kalamegdan has its own eBird hotspot and associated webpage at Kalamegdan Hotspot, the Belgrade Race Through History, an annual 6 km footrace, takes place in the park and fortress as a way of highlighting the history and culture of the area. The Belgrade Fortress was nominated by the Serbian government for the UNESCO's World Heritage Site. Architects and urbanists think that possible inclusion on the list will protect the fortress from aggressive transitional construction. In that case, the outlines of the fortress and a panoramic view on it will have to be preserved. The perceived visual pollution encompasses several objects. A gigantic object, a late 2000s project by the Zaha Hadid's studio, on the northern side of the fortress, down the slope of Danube. The project, despite some preparatory works, still didn't start off. The other was the spiral project, Cloud, by Su Fujimoto, which was to connect the Sava port to the fortress, but the project was scrapped after 2013 when the mayoral tenure of Dillas ended. Third is the highly controversial Belgrade Waterfront Project. The fortress in general functions as a major archaeological, artistic and historical treasury. As of 2014 it comprised 19 memorial busts of important people from Serbian history, science and arts Jovan Skerlik, Milos Kernjanski, Jovan Ducic, Dura Danisic, Stephen Mokranjak, 18 registered archaeological digs horseshoe towers, remnants of the Metropolitan's Palace, Roman Castrum, building of the main guards, 6 monuments and memorials Pobednik, Monument of Gratitude to France, Despot Stefan Lazarevich's Monument, 4 restaurants and coffee shops, 4 sports terrains, 3 sculptures, Genius of Death, Tired Fighter, Partisan with Children, 2 fountains, Awakening. Fisherman. Two drinking fountains. Japanese. Mehmed Pasa Sokolovic. Two churches. Ruzica, Saint Petka. Two galleries of the Natural Museum, Inner Stambul Gate. Two museums. Military Museum, Nabajsa Tower. Siviheta Zuzoric Art Pavilion, City Institute for the Protection of the Cultural Monuments, Belgrade Planetarium, Luna Park, Belgrade Zoo, People. S Observatory, Music Pavilion, Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts. Archaeological Institute's Science and Research Center for the Fortress, Memorial Ossuary for the 1914-15 Defenders of Belgrade, Tombs of National Heroes Moza Pijade, Ivan Militinovic, Duro Dakovic and Ivo Lola Ribar. Topic. Concerts and shows Topic. The flat grounds below the fortress are occasionally used as open-air concert location during late spring and summer. The 3rd of September 1997, Partabrekers Belgrade Beer Fest, annually from 2003 until 2007. The 18th of June 2011, Amy Winehouse and Moby. The 15th of September 2012, Warriors Dance Festival, The Prodigy, Skrillex. The 24th of May 2013, Dord Balasevic. The 27th of May 2013, Green Day, Belgrade Calling Festival, Others, Atheist Rap, Superhix, Haladno Pivo. The 14th of June 2013, White Snake. 
the 22nd of June 2013, Bajaga I Instructory. The 17th of June 2014, Iron Maiden, Maiden England World Tour Opening Act, Ghost. The 13th of August 2017, Interpol. The 27th of August 2018, Jesse Ware. The 8th of September 2018 to Two Furthermore, KK Partisan and Red Star Concrete Basketball Courts on the Fortress have been used for concerts. The 26th of June 2009, Simply Red at KK Partisan Court. The 11th of July 2011, MTV Free Concert at KK Partisan Court. Rob Garza from Thievery Corporation, Philippe Cohen Solal from Goton Project, and Gramophonesy. The 26th of May 2018, Haladno Pivo at KK Partisan Court. Additionally, a small walled in part of the fortress near its bottom is known as Barutana. It functions as an open-air club during late spring, summer, and early fall, mostly featuring EDM acts. Among the shows featured in Barutana are the 31st of July 2016, Talamasca at Barutana, the 8th of June 2018, Ernan Catanio and Nick Warren at Barutana. Topic See also Topic Monument of Culture of Exceptional Importance Gates of Belgrade Tourism in Serbia Military Museum Ruzica Church List of Ottoman Military Governors of Belgrade Fortress Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic For more information, visit the official site of Belgrade Fortress 3 Digital Reconstruction of the Belgrade Fortress as it looked in the 15th century A Brief History of Belgrade Fortress Kalamegdan and the Belgrade Fortress Kalamegdan Images Day and Night Shots, September 2009. The History of Belgrade Fortress.